Hello friends, good afternoon. Today my session is all about how we can create a new access rules and record rules to restrict our warehouse user to get access to the given warehouse and its operation only. So I am on to Odoo online right now and I would like to register some of the settings which I will educate you during this session. So let's jump into the configuration part. So here I am into one company where I have already one warehouse available. Now what happens is I will create a second warehouse over here and then I would like to restrict you know my particular warehouse to warehouse people. So now what happens is over here I have created two separate warehouse. Now how we can restrict the user access to any one warehouse specific to that user. So we have to create multiple record rules. So let's see before that we have to create one particular section into user. So over here as an admin user what I will do I will go to studio and then I will access my preferences over here I will maybe put one many to many field maybe like over here let's say I am putting a field and I will select the model as warehouse so now my rule is added and I will give the name is allow warehouse. Now over here, I have given a new field where you see both the warehouse are available and as an admin user, I am adding it, but that's not it. It is not setting anything. But now we have to create some very specific record rules. So which is already written in terms of domain or uh, you know in my text box which we will create right now so inside Odoo what we will do is we will go and enable the developer mode like it is only already in developer mode and access our you know record rule menu so our record rule we have to create one new rule under the warehouse so we can create a new rule where I can give a name allowed warehouse and my model is warehouse and then over here I will give the rule and this rule is written over here which I will copy paste and change with my object name so this object name I will find because this object name is not available over here so what I will do is I have to find the exit studio field which I have introduced recently in, an, in my user section so over here now I will find the name of the field is x underscore studio underscore allowed underscore warehouse which I will be using over here. So user dot x underscore studio underscore allowed warehouse. This is my field which I will introduce over here and create this first rule over here. With this rule now let's say what I will do is I will go and create a new user that is warehouse or one wh user wh1 at wh1.com and then what I will do is I will give only maybe inventory user access to this particular user that is the first thing I will do and then over here let me allow only warehouse one to this user and let me reset the password and then check what he is able to access. So now my user is set with warehouse one and I am shifting my browser and then checking how Odoo has configured my setting. So as soon as I am logging it at warehouse now you can see under inventory I will be able to see everything in warehouse 1 and warehouse 2. 
So now what we will do is we will set different rules again under that. So now we have to give, uh, you know, the rules for picking type and location type also. So we will create two new rules. One rule will be allowed location. So this is again the warehouse only and the rule is written over here which is stock.location so my object is over here the inventory locations is my object so I will say inventory locations and over here I will give a field which my studio ID dot underscore allowed underscore warehouse this is my field and now it is done and I will create one more rule for picking type so that my operation type can also be restricted allowed picking type so the object is picking type and I will have the similar kind of domain over here which I will add and then user dot x underscore studio underscore allowed warehouse and then so let me check So picking type ID warehouse ID So let me check the rule again X underscore studio underscore allowed warehouse dot IDs. Let me check what went wrong. So I will check my location. So allowed location. It's almost same. And this record rule is there. And for picking type. So I am creating a new rule, allow picking type with similar way over here. So allow picking type model is picking type. It will be the same and my rules are set. Now what I will do is if I will go and check my user, now he will be able to access only and only his warehouse and its operation now let's see if we create a new user so over here now if i say second warehouse user wh2 at wh2.com and he will be my only inventory user now he is saved as a new user and then if I change my password and then access it in the third window. So I am going into third window and then going to access my instance in another browser to log in as a second warehouse user. So wh2 at wh2.com and now I am accessing over here. So if I go to inventory, I can't access anything right now. Okay, nothing is there. I can't access anything over here, no. And as soon as I go to admin, go to my preference and add him to access only warehouse two. 
and then come here and refresh so now he can able to see all the operations related to the warehouse 2 so this is how we can control the access management for inventory user via these three rules which I have defined. Let me show you those rules again. So here are the record rules which we have defined. So I am going into record rules. Then XStudio is my field. So these three rules which I have defined to separate out my user to access only his allowed warehouse. And to do so, what we have done is we have created a many-to-many -many, uh, studio field and then given one warehouse as an allowed warehouse to access the warehouse and its respective operation to inventory user via this method. So you can see now this is not tough, but with this settings, one can achieve the restriction of warehouse and its location and operation via this way. So if I go over here, because he's user, he will only be able to access his operations only. Okay, so this is how one can achieve the restriction of warehouse, location and operations with record rules as explained in this video. I will write all three codes in my YouTube video explanation so you guys can also create the same in your instance and achieve this thing without any customization. Hope this will help many people. Thank you guys. Good day.